hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about another set of advanced excel actions in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely so let's get started so the first action that we will learn about is get selected cell range from excel worksheet so as you can see on my screen that i have again used the attached to running excel right because that file will be opened right and um, so this is the file that we're talking about and we will work on on this file right for that what i have done is i have used the attached to running excel because the file is already opened now what i'm going to do is so this action is going to give us selected cell range right so let's go back to the excel file and select some range so let's say i'm selecting these two rows okay now when i go back to power automate desktop and click on save and then when i click on run you will see that these variables will be filled so now it says that the first column index is one right and first row index is two so here you can see that first column index is 1 right and first row index is 2 so this is exactly what we are getting in the output right and last column index you can say you can see that it is 2 and the last row index is 3 so this is what we are seeing this is what is selected in the excel file right so now let's delete this and let's take another set another action which is uh, copy cells from excel worksheet so let's say i'm going to you know copy the copy mode will be the value of a single cell so we have selected that and we have to define that okay the start column will be two and start row will be two right now if i click on save and run the bot you will see that that particular cell will be copied right now because this file is copied so we have to use the paste cells also uh, to see what is going to happen so let's say i'm going to select on specified cell and here i'll put the column as let's say for and row i can say eight now if we click on save and run the bot then you will see that the that particular cell will be copied and pasted into the specified location if you go back to the file and see that this is exactly what has happened so this is your fourth column and eighth row and the value has been copied in the second column and second row right now if you see that here in the copy cells from excel worksheet so the first one was value of a single cell let's say values from a range of cells if you define that then you'll have to define the end column let's say in column is 3 and end row is also 3 right and now when i copy this and paste it uh, yes, at the same location you will see that that particular cell data will be replaced with the new one as you can see here right so the value has been copied and pasted here correct so this is how you can use the copy cells from excel worksheet and paste cells to excel worksheet in the copy cells from excel worksheet you see that there is another option which is called as values from selection so here what happens is to use this option in the excel file you'll have to make some selection so let's say i have made this selection right now if i go back to power automate desktop and here if i tell that okay so do the same thing on the specified cell because i've selected the column 4 
and the row is 8. Now if I click on save and run, you will see that the selection which I made in the Excel worksheet, that will be copied and pasted in the fourth column. You can see that in the file as well, right? Whatever the selection I made, same has been copied. So the next action that we are going to learn is delete from Excel worksheet. So here you have to specify the value of a single cell. Let's say you want to delete the data from a single cell. So let's say I will say that from the second column and second row and the direction I have to tell whether it is going to be on the left side or it is going to be on the upside so that uh, that you can tell and now when you run this bot you will see that the data will be deleted from that cell as you can see here right so it has shifted to the left data we have deleted from here but now you see the value has shifted from here to in the second column right okay so the next action is insert row to excel worksheet so let's say i want to insert a row at what index you want to insert you need to tell that so let's say row index is 5 okay now when I run the bot, you will see that the data will, row will be inserted. In this case, you did not see anything happening on the screen because it there was no data. So let's say you want to insert a row index, let's say you said 2 and at that second row we have some data. So you will see something happening uh, in the Excel worksheet. As you can see, a blank row has been inserted here. Same way if you want to delete it. Here you can come and tell that you want to delete second row. And now when you run the bot, you will see that the row will be deleted. As you can see here so the next action is insert column to Excel worksheet so here what I have to do is I have to tell that at what uh, location you want to insert a column so let's see if I say that you know to insert a column at the second position then I will put two and then click on save and run the board you will see that the column will be inserted as you can see here at the second position column is inserted now if i go back to power automate desktop and then i will use delete column then i will just pull it here and put two and then if i click on save and run the bot you will see the same the blank column will be deleted as well right and here uh, then you have another action which is called as find and replace which is very very useful so as the options uh, already explains that what you have to do here right you you can just find and replace so if you choose this then you have to specify what text you want to find and whatever text you define then you'll have to tell you know whether you want to find all the matches or only one right and here as soon as you enable it you see that it gives only one variable right and uh, so this will provide the list of cells right so those those cells will be listed in the list data type and here you can choose match case 
or matching tag cell contents and how do you want to search it whether you want to search it by rows and or columns so all these things you can specify here so what I will do is just uh, for a you know specific uh, search what I will do I'll just go ahead and say that okay I want to search this particular thing and then I want to delete or replace it uh, let's say fitness and then click on save and I'll just delete this action delete column because that is not needed here and then when I run this part you will see that groceries will be replaced with fitness right you can see here that as well so this is how you can use find and replace cells in Excel worksheet so the next action is uh, get first free row on column so let's say I want to find the first free row on second column or let's say in this case third column so what it is going to have first free row on column this is the variable which will have the value right and when I run the bot you will see that it will it says that the first pos fifth position we have the row which is available which is blank so one two three four and this is five right and because I've specified that you have to find the first free row in column in the third column right and that is why it is returning five so that's it that's all about all the advanced excel actions available in the power automate desktop so if you have any question please post it in the comment section and if you have any feedback please share that as well with me right and if you have if you really like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching have a great day